Hey guys, Blockster42. Well, we've just been kicking them out here today, doing videos left, right, and center. Okay, so here we have, this is Tamiya's uh, Tiran 5, which is basically a T-55, which the Israelis captured, put on a uh, British 105 gun, and uh, put it into inventory, because they had a whole buttload of them. Uh, they didn't really keep them that long, they shipped off some to Lebanon. And this particular one depicts one from the Ur Uruguayan army. Um, the Uruguayan army uh, turn 5 is known as a TI-67. And it's pretty much uh, right from uh, Israel stock. But they have added a, kind of an interesting camouflage pattern. I could not find a whole bunch of information about these. A couple of pictures. And the pictures that I did find, the kit, the tanks were absolutely pristine spotless. So this one is built right out of the box. Uh, just typical fabulous Tamiya. It would be nice for a different type of a track. Uh, one piece vinyl is okay in a lot of applications, but when you have a weighted track like this, a little bit challenging. So basically all we've done is added a, a couple of pins in through. Now, you know what? Can you see the pins? I'm having a hard time finding them, but there's one right there, there's one right there, and there's one right there. And I just run a piece of wire in and bit folded it down. I have a build video on this that I'm going to put together, so I'll show you how I do that. So it's actually quite simple to weight vinyl tracks, even uh, World War II German armor like on the, on the Mark IV or a Tiger or something, providing you have good tracks. And these are good tracks. They're global and uh, they're tough. They're, they're really nice tracks. This is a great kit. Um, problem is that Tamiya stuff is getting pretty damn expensive anymore. I found this for under 50 bucks at a local hobby shop, which is kind of unheard of. Most of these things, they're running for anywhere from 70 to to $100 now. But uh, yeah, I lucked out and got this one on sale. Okay, color and markings. Now, the Uruguayan have a really cool, very interesting uh, markings. Now, what we did was we left the base uh, coat of Israeli. This is uh, MIG IDF Sinai Gray 82, which is MIG 066. That's the base. And then we added um, from MIG again, MIG Ammo Russian Green Base, which is right here, which is MIG 932. And the sand is also MIG, it's IDF Sand Gray 1973, it's MIG 067, and then uh, the black is just MIG Ammo Black uh, done up and shot, uh, shot with my uh, Iowata brush, um, all thinned with, uh, what did I use with thinner? I think I used um, Vallejo thinner on this, but the paint turned out really nice, and like I say, um, weathering was kept to a minimal, as was uh, as was um, any stowage. Like I say, the pictures I have keep these pretty damn clean. So basically, we just got a a little wash on it, and that's about it. But this is a really nice kit from to me. I highly recommend it if you can find it at a reasonable price, guys. So thanks for watching. Take care later.